Peace and blessings, my divine one. It's me, Gadimshi, here with Light Power, and I hope you are doing very well today. And if not, I hope that this message would support you, help your energies get to balance harmony and homeostasis within your mind and heart. So today we're going to get into a card reading utilizing the Awakening Souls Master Oracle. If you like any of these cards, you can send me an email and uh, we can see about getting a deck for you. So we're going to shuffle this deck because I haven't shuffled it. And we're going to see what's coming through for you at this time. Okay, well, let's see. Okay, so the core of this message, it's energy. Someone right now is being called to recognize where they're placing their attention, where they are pouring their attention. Feel me? Attention is likened to water on the seed of the soul. Whatever you focus on, you are watching it grow. And right now, I'm feeling right now, for whoever this message is resonating with, the core of the message is saying, it's time for you to start focusing better on where you're putting your focus. You don't need to be caught up in all of the activities of what's happening in the world and in the matrix when you know you're here on divine purpose and you have things that are assignment. This card says, channel your energy towards higher goals. Fuel your spiritual journey. This is co cohesive with fueling your relationship with God, recognizing the divine within yourself and creating a harmony in your inner conversation. Because once you're allowing your energy to flow, you circulate it towards the things that you want to see grow. All right. So this is the first uh, core for today's message. We just have to drop that in there. Focus your energy on higher goals and fuel your spiritual journey. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we're seeing uh, acceptance. Acceptance at the bottom of the deck. I'm about to shuffle this. But it says, stop suppressing. Accept all that you feel and heal. This is deep. What I'm re receiving right now is that there's someone who's at the sound of my voice that has a few aspects of challenges in their lives, but they're not taking the time to rectify them. It's like you walk into a space and you see that it's not clean and you just say, it's not clean, let's leave. But it's like, that's your house. If it's not clean and you leave, then when are you going to clean it? When are you going to take care of it? When are you going to console your heart? When are you going to balance your mind? When? So stop suppressing. Stop blocking, stop deflecting, and start accepting, start feeling, and that allows for releasing, all right? that That's what I'm seeing right now. There's a blockage in someone's energy because they're storing up all the things that's going on, and they're not allowing themselves to feel any of it. Look at this woman. She's standing at the beach, and she's just taking it all in. This is what you need to do. You need to take it all in, whatever's going on, whatever people said, whatever you're saying about yourself, however you're judging yourself because of what you did or what you didn't do. Take it all in, get into one of our meditations and breathe it out. Fill yourself up with the light of God. Fill yourself up with unconditional love and breathe out all these shadows. Breathe out all these frustrations and breathe out all these old stories and problems that you never fixed. And then download the solutions and get about that business. That's a whole message by itself, but I'm going to shuffle the cards anyways. Father, is there anything else you need me to say? The Lord said he wants you to be free, but you have to free yourself. You're in your own cage right now. Nobody's holding the keys but you. It's all about your ability to feel, acknowledge, and be integral with your own heart. I mean, there's nobody. It's your heart, your ability to console it. What do I feel? How did that make me feel? Why am I still thinking about that? Because our thoughts are reflective of the energies that we carry. So you already know your homework. You're at home with it every day. You're just ignoring it, trying to do all the things you think you're supposed to do, trying to work and make money the way you think, and then you're making money, and then you're still sad, and you're still depressed, and you're still frustrated because you're not acknowledging your heart like a living being, like God lives here. God lives here, and you got to take care of this place. Yes, this temple of God you're walking around in, you holding the phone. Yes, you 
You need to make sure that you acknowledge the spirit of God with you because that's how you honor your heart, the spirit of God. If you don't, then that's when you have the experience of what it says in scripture where it say, out of the heart flow the issues of life. And so I would love to paraphrase and say, out of the heart do flow the issues of life, but it's out of the ignored heart. It's out of the abandoned heart flow the issues of life because they're still there. And so they manifest the same way a seed bears fruit. You have seeds in your heart right now and the bearing fruit is, I'm feeling sad, but I'm not acknowledging it. There I'm depressed. I'm feeling mistreated, but I didn't say anything. I'm feeling unseen because you're not seeing you. You're not seeing your feeling. You're not seeing the spirit. And so you got to tune in, recognize, acceptance, accept all that you feel so that you can heal. Let's see what else is coming out. Let's see. Is there anything else, Father? Let's see. I was waiting for you, Lord. Oh, hold on. There it goes. So let me take this card, put these ones back. Put these ones back. This is the second card that came out. <laughs> this is how you about to be feeling. So we could look at it like past, present, future. I didn't, I didn't pull the card. I was at the bottom of the deck. Acceptance, bliss. This is how you're going to be feeling when you really allow yourself to move through all those feelings. See, you can only find what you have. And that's why you have it already. You can only find what you have. And so if you hide from what you have, you still have it. You're just hiding. And the longer you hide, the longer you suppress, the longer you delay this good feeling. Because the feeling you have, you should have it already. So if you want to feel good and you don't, you have to feel the not good that you're already feeling in order to feel good. I'm not saying that you're going to just wallow in your depression. No, no, no. I'm, I rebuke depression from you right now. I speak the word as a, a healing balm for your heart right now to cause co core and correct all core issues surrounding depression right now in the spirit and in flesh. By the power of the almighty God in which I am, I let it be so. You are healed right now. And so when you allow yourself to feel, you allow yourself to heal, and then you have better feelings to feel. But until you feel what you have, you're not finding nothing else that lasts. You can find a temporary joy going to somebody else's house. You can find a temporary joy going to parties, going out with the boys, going out with the girls. You can do all those type of things. But when you leave them, you come back to your own space. Guess what you have in your own space? Whole bunch of suppression, whole bunch of anxiety, depression. Why? Because you're not feeling healing and embracing everything. You got to allow your soul to be felt and known, okay? This card says, allow the elevation of your soul. See, when we go through issues and situations, it's not to keep us there. It's to mature us to be out of there and to create a new frequency that makes sure we never return. So if you're not dealing with depression like homework and you think you can do it later, you're going to go to class, which is your next experience, and you're going to be unprepared because you're supposed to learn something from those feelings for this next experience. So you don't wanna get backtracked on your homework because this is the homework we do it here in our hearts. This is the homework we do it here in our minds, okay? Capture this in your spirit. Father, is there another card for us? Because I know I wasn't taking another card. He said, take the next card. <laughs> Look, family, you are going to experience goodness. Look at this. Look at this. All you have to do is acceptance. I didn't. I should have kept that card out. All you have to do is practice acceptance and this is what's in store for you. Because, oh my Lord, oh my Lord, oh my Lord, I had to take this out. The energy, focus on the energy of your higher goals, fuel your spiritual journey. Your spiritual journey is the maturation of your heart and your mind's coherence. What am I saying? Your spiritual journey is your relationship with your emotions, your relationship with the divine spirit, and your relationship with your mind. So when you channel your energy towards your higher goals, you want to get towards this harvest season, but you need to actually go into that acceptance. I'm about to pull that card out, Lord. Where is it? There she is. Acceptance, elevation of your soul. And then it's time for you to receive yours. Harvest season. Reap your abundance in all forms. It starts with your emotion. If your emotion is blocked, 
that means your energy is not circulating. And so you need to move into this game plan acceptance. Allow your soul to be elevated. Your soul elevates when you say, okay, why is this happening to me? And you sit there for the answer. When you get that answer, you apply it to your life. You move up vibrationally. You move up energetically. All right. That supports you in channeling your energy properly. And imagine like a tree that's starved of water. Can you ever get to this? Can you ever get to a, 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 a abundant harvest? Look at this man. He don't even have the arms to carry that basket. I mean, the goodness that's coming into your life right now is going to literally cause you to mu muscle up. You got to get bigger in order to receive what's coming. So I invite you, family. Give yourself an opportunity to practice some acceptance, practice embracing, and, and stop all that suppressing. You know, you're not helping anybody and you're delaying your own evolution when you do that. Family, I love you guys with the love of Christ. And be sure to know the Most High is loving you right now inside you too. Tune inward, join the Lord, and come and explore. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Community. So I'm basically showing you a game plan right now. You working on your energy, accepting your feelings, moving through the emotions, allowing your soul to be recognized through your heart and through your mind. And then you're going to experience your own harvest, your own good your own manifestations, all the things that you've been preparing for coming to fruition. And you are setting up to share. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, you're not doing all of this just to have great energy, to channel your energy towards your higher goals. And that's it. No, you're doing all of this because you're a great resource to the people around you. Support one another in love. All right. And so another thing I'm hearing in my spirit is that there are people who are going to transform because of your transformation. It's almost like you walking the path, embracing these emotions, developing this emotional intelligence, not from books, developing emotional intelligence, not from seminars, from actually being one with your heart. This is where you get it from. You don't have nothing to share if you're ignoring yourself. And so the more you do this work and acceptance, the more you have the opportunity to help others to do the same, same homework of acceptance, community. All right. So family, this is your message of the day. I thank you so much for being here. I appreciate so much everyone who's been sharing donations, who's been sharing our posts, our videos. Family, this is just the work of the Lord. So, you know, if you love God, you love me too, because I am God expressing as me. And you are God expressing as you. And I love you with the love of Christ. So be sure to know that we're going to be here to shine the light of God. If you're not subscribed, you might want to do it at this now time. At the bottom, in the co in the comments, if you're receiving this message, I want to see, I am accepting all that I feel and abundance flows to me. I am accepting all that I feel and abundance flows to me. I am accepting all I feel and abundance flows to me. Thank you again, family. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Many blessings, and I'll speak to you next time.